My name is Brock Page, and I do random sports picks for fun. Let's jump into some Major League Baseball action. We're going to start in the American League. I'm talking about the Boston Red Sox minus one and a half at Baltimore, with the total at an even eight runs. And currently, the Red Sox are the money line favorites at minus 157. Sunday's probables, Chris Sale for Boston, Tillman for the Orioles. Speaking of Baltimore, they took games one and two of this home series from Boston in two fairly close games. That's going to put the Orioles currently at 70% at home, which is outstanding. They're also 7-4 in head-to-head -head games with Boston this season. But if you think the O's are a lock, just remember that Baltimore has won just two of five games when Chris Tillman takes the bump. They're also winning just 45% of their games versus teams around 500. They're facing a Boston team who wins an impressive 73% of their games when Chris Sale starts on the mound. Having said that, Boston does struggle on the road, winning just 12 of 27. They're also winning just 43% of their games as the official road favorite. With all that in mind, the case can be made for both sides. But before I pick a winner, let's go ahead and break down the total real quick. We have an over and an under in games one and two. In those two showdowns, both teams collectively averaged eight and a half total combined runs per game. As you can see, it's going to be a real close call on the line as well. That said, the time for talk is over. Let's go ahead and shoot some proverbial darts in my underwear and make some severely misguided baseball picks in my one-bedroom apartment. All right, when it comes to the run line, some degenerates always say that the home team covers, especially when getting points. Having said that, the Sox have been unstoppable in Chris Sale starts. I think he'll get enough support from his offense going against Tillman tomorrow. I think the Boston Red Sox minus one and a half will get the job done on the run line. When it comes to the total, Baltimore games have been going over the line a lot recently. Before game two of this series, Orioles games went over in their previous three straight. Having said all that, when it comes to the total, I think this one gets over the eight runs. And when it comes to the money line cash, I think the Bo Sox get it done with a win. 6-3 to three at Camden Yards. All right, I'm going to slide into my next and final game for the show. We're going to go into the National League, and I'm talking about Pittsburgh plus 1.5 at the New York Mets with a total at an even 9 runs. And currently, the Mets are the money line favorites at minus 130. Sunday's probables for this one, Trevor Williams for the Pirates, Tyler Pill for the Mets. Speaking of New York, they've struggled as of late, failing to win in their last three consecutive games. They also dropped Game 1 to Pittsburgh by the score of 12-7. Even worse, the Mets haven't been giving the home crowd much to cheer for as they've won just 13 of 31 games in Flushing, New York. But if you think the Mets are in trouble, their opponents haven't fared much better in numerous categories. The Bucks are currently winning just 39% of their games on the road. They've also won just 10 of 24 games as the official road underdog. Disparaging remarks aside, we could see ourselves an excellent baseball game tomorrow. The Pirates are 3-2 when Trevor Williams makes the start. And on the other side, the Mets are 1-0 when Tyler Pill takes the bump as well. The proverbial case can be made for either side. But before I pick a winner, let's go ahead and slide into some over-under breakdown. Two out of both teams' last four games went under the line. Now on the other side, both teams are averaging a staggering 10 total combined runs in their last four games collectively. Going to be a tough one to pick there as well. Having said that, the time for talk is over. Let's go ahead and, well, you get it. I already said it earlier. I went through that whole spiel already. Let's go ahead and make some picks. When it comes to the run line, I think the Pirates are going to look to take advantage of a struggling Mets team. And although they lost two of their last three, they had a great showing last night in their win against these very New York Mets. I think they win, and I think they win big i got to take the Pittsburgh Pirates plus one and a half to get the job done on the run line. When it comes to the total, I think we're going to have ourselves a lot of offense. Based on the numbers, I like the over nine runs in this one. And when it comes to the money line cash, I like the Pirates. I like them to cover, and I like them outright. Give me the Pittsburgh Pirates getting it done by the final of six to four on the road. All right, folks, that is certainly going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. 
For Brock Page Productions, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.